This video is going to be great. I'm going to show you how I've ranked on Google in 24 hours using a tool that does it all for us. It's extremely easy. I'm surprised. I'm laughing about it because this is just ridiculous. So to begin, we are using seowriting.ai. Here's some sample outputs. The images are amazing, my goodness. But more importantly, and I'm gonna show you, they rank. So we just began this experiment. I'm gonna control click yesterday. This has been like literally 24 hours, right? As you can see down here, published 920, 920, 920, 919. We've only gotten about five of them out. And here's one, what language they speak here in Andorra, Afghanistan. So what I've done, I've blanketed this topic with language they speak in Albania, Algeria, and so on and so forth. Look at these images. I just can't get over it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna see which ones have indexed because I didn't do any like auto indexing. So we're gonna see what's indexed. And on top of that, let's see where these five blog posts are ranking. I think you're gonna be surprised. So to begin, this is the website's traffic, right? Here is the traffic. Just look here. We are receiving about 170, call it 100 a day. We need to keep track of this because this is gonna be an ongoing series. And on top of this, this is just one of the websites. So this is how widely spoken. We are going to have four different websites we're working through this series. So if you like this stuff, make sure to subscribe because this is going to be an intense auto blogging series. But nonetheless, let's see which ones are indexed. Let's push the URL here. That one is not. So right here, Andorra is not, unfortunately. Let's go to Afghanistan. So I want to see what got picked up by Google within 24 hours. Look at that is on Google. That's good. So this one right here, I didn't have to do anything. Google picked it up. And what's crazy is I haven't been posted on this website. Boom, another one. All right. So that is Albania, Afghanistan. All right, let's go to the next one, Algeria. So that's two out of three. Let's keep track. Two out of three have been indexed automatically. Let's see if this one is another one. So Algeria, Algeria and uh, Miramar. Let's check this last one. So we're at a three out of four so far. All right, okay. Four out of five have been indexed by Google. That's a good sign. Google's looking at this content and saying, oh, this could help. Let's index it and serve it to our clients. Let's go down the line of the four that are indexed. What language do they speak in Afghanistan? And there's a reason why I'm autoblogging with these. Um, I don't want to get into it right now. Like, why am I making these articles, right? But let's see, Are we have? do we have any representation at all on this one? Let's keep scrolling. I don't see it. I don't see it how widely. Okay, that one is a no-go. So we're not really showing up good on that one. That was 0 for 1. Let's go here. Boom, Albania. Do we have any representation here? Let's scroll down. Quora. Whenever you see Quora, that's a good sign because it means that, you know, it's lower competition. All right, do we have anything here? Let's control. Okay, nothing there. Now let's go to what language they speak in Algeria. Now I know that these questions, they can be answered easily with AI in the future, but there's a reason I'm doing this. There's a, there's a real reason. Uh, so here we go. We have representation nine, hour ago, nine hours ago. What language they speak in Algeria? Now let's see how far down we are. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Call it second page, maybe bottom of first page on Google right there. Boom, 24 hours, nine hours ago, we have it. The official language of Algeria are this and that. So let's see what Google is thinking about this. Like, like you have to answer the query immediately. And, and this one does, right? I love it. Let's see if this one did any good, right? What language they speak in Miramar, in Burma? Boom, boom. Okay. Now we can probably, ch so there we are right there, right there. So one, if you call that one, one, two, three, four, five, six. First page of Google for that specific um, search, right? But if we chop off this into just Miramar, do we have any representation? Yes, we do. We're still here. We're certainly lower in SERPs, but we're up there and we could say Burma, right? Let's go here. We're going to control, boom, right there. Like it. And that one's probably second page as well. So depending upon the exact search, these blog posts, they are showing up on Google. Some on the first page of Google. Now we're going to jump over to the second website, Bonds I Mary, right? So this one here, we have one, two, three, four that we did. Look here, over here, Brrrup, those four. So this one, this one, this one, and this one. And keep in mind, I just want to be very clear. Everything here is AI, the pictures included, right? Insane. So here's the Google search console for this one. We are receiving a nice little bump because I gave this website some love using Word Galaxy um, about two months ago, and we're, we're receiving some love. So maybe we can use this traction. Let's, let's boost it a bit further. Let's see what has indexed though on this website. 
So that is the first one not indexed. And, and I think I know why I'm going to talk about this. But let's just go through these quickly. Second one not indexed. Third one control V. Let's go here, not indexed. And the fourth one, boom, let's go here. Now, 0 for 4 on Bonsai Mary. Why? Why are we not getting indexed? And I think it has something to do with the actual content. In other words, this is very general. Decoding bonsai tree symbolism and meaning. How to choose the best bonsai tree for your home. That's okay, but it's still very top of funnel general. Essential supplies. Unfortunately, there may be a few things going on here. So check this out. If I were to type this in, right? Boom, boom, go here. Yep. All right, if we do bonsai Mary, I already have representation for that SERP on a previous blog post. This really stinks, and it kind of I kind of broke the website, but that's beside the point. We'll, we'll talk about that later. But when you use auto blogging, you have to be careful of content cannibalization, and, and I just fell into it right here because I just wrote this one with the AI tool, and I already have an article here. So what I'm probably going to do is a 301 redirect and just call it good. Now I want to speak upon keyword cannibalization because if you're going to undergo auto blogging, this is probably going to be your number one issue: keyword research and making sure you don't duplicate content right and how I do this is I kind of look at a, a piece of content what language they speak in XYZ and I and I just input a different country what other things could you do this with here's another hub that we're going to do right and you can use a combination and how do I find these so what language did Abraham speak or Adam and Eve or Buddha people are asking these questions online for whatever reason and I noticed this and I said oh that's a template right there I can copy this template what language did this person speak use chat GPT use Claude and build out that list right it's very logical and I can assure you with this list right here what language they speak in every country there is no keyword can cannibalization and the SERP is very, very defined. So as we know, we are having some problems with indexing on this website right here, Bonsai Mary. Why? Well, it could be a few things. It could have been the cannibalization. It could have been the authority of the website. But nonetheless, Julian from, you know, Julian Goldie SEO, he's gone before us and done a lot of auto blogging. And he said to me, look, man, you can use this. This can really, really help. Right now, I'm going to hold off. I'm not going to use it quite yet because I want to see, does Google pick up these naturally? If so, that's best case scenario, right? I'm going to trickle out. We're going to trickle out two blog posts on Bonsai Mary a day and on How Widely Spoken, right? So we're going to keep going with this before we use the Omega Indexer. But, but we have a website that's coming out, right? Make sure to subscribe to this channel. We're going to have a website with 500 blog posts that are very, very tight. There's going to be, I guarantee you, there's no keyword cannibalization in the website that I'm making. And we're going to shock Google's system. And I'm going to use, I'm most likely going to use this tool to see how it goes. Now, last but not least, we are going to be using the thriftywhale.com as another sacrificial website. And I mean that by, I don't care if any of these websites go to zero. This is experimental type of stuff. So the Thrifty Whale, this is what it looks like. Pretty cool. Uh, here's an example one. Pretty cool. Um, but as you can see, we, 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 you know, we don't have any success here yet. But this is what is considered a seeded website. We put about 68 blog posts on here. Look, 68 URLs right here. Here's all of them. It's only 68. And we let it sit. And that's great because now we have a website that isn't 100% fresh and we can build upon it. So now we need to figure out what are we going to talk about on this website? We have representation for what? You know, this is ice fishing, catfish. I know I did bass here too. Very, very sloppily made. I'm not very happy about this website in terms of form and structure and what have you, but I know that we have a few things. We have ice fishing, we have bass fishing, and we have cat fishing. So now I want to do something totally different. And what I'm thinking is snakeheads. Have you seen a snakehead? They're pretty cool. Um, I live in Maryland and we have them around here, but nonetheless, what is a good tool? Answer Socrates. There's other tools that we're going to use in this series that you haven't seen yet, so make sure to subscribe. But what we can do is we can, you know, use these as structures for an article. Um, we're going to download the CSV. I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. So initially I went to uh, ChatGPT and it just really didn't work out. I was asking it, hey, can you look at this humongous spreadsheet of keywords, which is right here. Look, I'll make it bigger so you can see easier. Check this out. Our snakehead fish good to eat. That's great. It's very hard for us as humans to quickly go through these and be like, oh, that's a duplicate one. That's a duplicate one. And, and apparently so it is for um, ChatGPT. But there's a problem with this sheet. I have 400, 500 some things because it's not all like questions and stuff. 
So what I want to do, I'm going to grab, let's go down here. Let's just grab did, blah, 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 was, and okay, is, was, right there. Boom, we have 217. Let's come back here. Let's come to chat GPT. Let's do a new one. Let's say, um, go through these and tell me which are too close uh, in information. I cannot have duplicate or cannibalized uh, content for SEO. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, let's just roll with it. Nice. We didn't time it out. It wasn't too much. Um, are they good to eat? All right, grouping them will identify the duplicates. I'm okay with this. I don't know if ChatGPT is going to be able to do 217 one crack. Um, but this isn't bad because if we can get this, there's a way to do, you know, SEO writing.ai allows us to group things and I can categorize these and it's going to allow us to interlink in the future. So let's see how well this does. And what we're left with, I mean, ChatGPT did pretty darn good. I like what they did here. Look here. They did, they grouped it. They grouped everything. Uh, queries related to edibility of snakehead, uh, harm posed by them, uh, invasive nature of them. Nonetheless, I pushed them all here. And we're going to have to have a human touch here, right? And then there's non-grouped. Now, there's opportunities that I see right off the bat, right? Where are snakeheads in Florida? What can we do with this? So in the future video, I'm going to show you how we're going to build out and prepare for this website too. So we're going to check the stats, see what's indexed, see where it's ranking, and then we're going to build these out together. So if you like this, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.